Yeah. Now, uh, the news that came in uh, quietly just after lunch yesterday that the green ban at the heritage-listed Willow Grove site in Parramatta has been lifted by the construction union, the CFMEU. It's been there for uh, oh, over a year, oh, getting on to two years, about 20 months since, since it was uh, initially placed on that site, except uh, the colonial area era building still has nowhere to relocate yet. They are, at this stage, planning to take it down brick by brick store it somewhere and uh, at some stage we'll find out where it's going to be reconstructed big questions about what that's going to look like and, and how it's going to go and really is it the same building it was if it's reconstructed and it's not in its moment it's not in its place in history uh you know in, in the landscape where it used to be does does that completely eviscerate its its heritage values, we wonder. But uh, Suzette Mead joins us now, President of the North Parramatta Residents Action Group. And uh, hello, Suzette. Good morning, Wendy and Robbie. You must... Were you disappointed to hear the green ban had been lifted? Look, we, we're in, obviously, regular conversations with the CFMEU and um, we were aware of this at the end of last week. Yeah. Um, but, of course... It was a shock for the public to, to hear it. And, you know, Willow Grove survived a pandemic of the Spanish flu, but not able to survive the COVID pandemic, unfortunately. Okay. So what about those thoughts that I expressed there about the value yeah. of otherwise of storing the building and rebuild, rebuilding it somewhere else? Look, you, you hit the nail on the head. Heritage is more than bricks and mortar. It's about people and place and... Um, the idea of removing it from where it was, um, I think it's been highlighted by many heritage professionals, is that it loses um, its heritage significance both structurally and um, physically of, of its place. Um, so we don't believe that that's a win for heritage. And as you know, Wendy, we've got a lot of heritage battles in Parramatta mm -hmm. and we've had to take the strong stand that we can't support that because um, it just sets a dangerous precedent yeah. for heritage all over the state, really. Well, you sort of need to know where the building was to appreciate or how far it was from the river or, you know, hey, what the view was. I mean, I suppose a lot of that view is obliterated now, but all that is... What do they yeah. call it in Arcal... Um, in Arcal Kirtledge? Yeah, Kirtledge, yeah. Yeah. Look, it didn't need to happen. We know that if the brief was given by the government, um, that the heritage must be incorporated, architects would have been able to make that happen. Um, so, you know, it's been a remarkable campaign for four years and it's, we've had forced concessions on the government and, you know, um, the community and the union should be really proud of we've been able to keep St George's Terrace and I hope we've drawn an enormous amount of attention to how precious and special Parramatta really is. Mm. Well, you, can you tell us what the you know, what your uh, understanding is about how it's going to be stored and then potentially where it's going to be rebuilt and how it's going to be rebuilt? Well, Robbie, that's the million dollar question right. or the one point seven four million dollar question, which is the contract price, because there are no details, and this is what the National Trust have been bringing up that you get more documentation on a kitchen reno, and uh, that's what's got so much concern. There is no detail, and where is it going to go? Is that going to obliterate another important heritage site? Um, so, yeah, still more questions than answers mm -hmm. as far as um, the residents are concerned. This has been um, such an exhausting campaign for you, Suzette. You have been tireless, and I, uh, I, uh, I've got so many accolades here for you saying that... Um, you know, you're proving yourself to be one of the best independent political activists in the country. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a lot of people are thanking you. But you have to... You, so you're sort of chalking this up to a partial win, are you? Because you've been able to get some other concessions. Look, I, I think we have to celebrate what we did manage to, to achieve by um, doing this. But I think the government should be leading and setting high benchmarks for our state's heritage, not unions and community pressuring them to do so. And, um, of course, you know, I'm very disappointed. Everyone's very frustrated because with the pandemic, we're all stuck at home. It's a bit of a fizzle to a very, um, uh, very creative, very passionate and, and visible campaign to not be able to be there now. But 
I think like we drew on the Battle of the Rocks and Jack Mundy and looking at all those stories, I really hope, um, looking back, that our campaign inspires other people and um, to dare to struggle and fight and be loud and let the government know that we deserve better. All right. Well, uh, yes, I guess over the next few days and weeks, we'll see the demolition, not the demolition, but the, what do you call it? The deconstruction. Deconstruction. That That's what I was looking for. Uh, well, I've got a text here saying, well, good luck. I can't even put together an IKEA bookshelf. So, um, but you, you know, you can imagine that, you know, the, it, it ruins the interiors as well if there's wallpapers in Still there. Crumble. You know, crumbled. Yeah, yeah. Um, and look, we don't want the history of what we've done to be sanitised because we've made history, the community and the union and everyone that donated money, made a sign, tied a heart. You know, I'm super proud of everyone's efforts. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't... Um, it was a big ask from people and people stuck with us and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone across the state that chipped in and, and made our campaign what it was. Oh. And to you guys for... Yep. Letting me speak so much about it. Well, Bernie in Narrabeen says, I'd love to relocate this state government brick by brick to another place yet to be determined. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> hey, uh, Suzette, we'll leave it. Thank you so much for your time Thank this morning. You. Good on you. Right, Thank you. Uh, oh, Suzette Mead is the president of the North Parramatta Residents Action Group. Uh,